Hi guys, it's Crowned K here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on Otrey's YouTube channel. If y'all are interested in seeing how I achieve this amazing messy butterfly bob lock, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I already parted the back half of my hair and I'm going to move on to the top portion and I'll be showing you how I achieve clean parts. The products that I use when doing my parts, well the only product that I use is a Shine and Jam and this is a really good like product to get your parts right and I also use a rat tail comb, the one that has that, you know, that special part at the front that gives you really good parting. And just like that, do you see how after I do my part, I add a little bit of the shining jam and then I go in with a very sharp comb and the parting looks really clean. Like using this technique, like parting your hair and adding the shining jam to the root and then going over it will give you really clean parts. Even if your parts are crooked, they're going to be clean. That much I can guarantee. So for this style, I'll be doing the trendy butterfly lock and what I'm doing is braiding my own hair and as well as showing you how I get my parts really clean. And don't worry, ain't nothing going on with my scalp. I don't have a sensitive react. I don't have a reaction or anything to any product that I'm using. I just have really sensitive scalp. So as soon as I start doing my hair, it gets red, the struggles. But yes, I'm going in and I'm parting the hair as well as doing the braiding portion. I already did the back off camera because that takes forever long and I didn't want to come on here to do that extra struggle. So again, I'm cleaning up the part and I use the shine and jam to do that and I use my really sharp comb to just like go over the part so it makes it pretty clean and pretty neat. And guys, for the base of my butterfly lock, I'll be using braids, but if you can't braid, you can always do some twists if that works better for you and guys I didn't do the braid um, the braids like tight the root is really loose because I have to go in with like a crochet needle and I didn't want to do it and the root is already tight and then when I add the lock it'll be like a lot of tension on my hair but anyways we're moving on to the hair and I'll be using Otre's springy afro twist Otre's expression twisted up springy afro twist and this is a 12 inch and this is a three time so guys I'm gonna go in with my um, crochet needle and I'm gonna insert it in the hair and then I'll add the open the latch and I'll add the hair on to add the hair I add it from the ends closer to the ends because that's like the slimmest part well the skinniest part of the hair so then I'm gonna add it pull it through and what I'll do is I'll pull one part of the hair to the desired length that I want my um, my lock to be and then the longer portion I'll use that to wrap it and I'll go in with a shine and jam and I'll wrap the base as tight as I can because this is what's going to give us security for the lock so I'll wrap it maybe four to five times so it's secured and tight and then I'll start doing the butterfly lock and what I did is I inserted my finger through the braid through the um the hair that I'm using to wrap and then I move my finger you can use your thumb or your index finger. I was alternating because this is my first time doing this style. But yeah, uh, so I was using my thumb and I was using my index finger, whatever like feels comfortable to you. And what I noticed, guys, when you're doing the wrapping technique, um, when you wrap, wrap the hair in front of your thumb. That gives it a more like uniform distressed look. You can always wrap it over your thumb as well because I did that. I did a mixture of both, but I realized the better technique is wrapping it in front of your thumb versus on your thumb but yeah and then when i get to the end i turn the hair up and then i just start wrapping back up and to make it like seal like seal it together i just roll um palm roll the lock and guys for the first for the first uh three rows i use the 12 inch and then for the rest of the hair, I'll be going in with the springy afro twist in the 16 inch because I do want a bob, but for the top, I wanted it to actually meet the hair that's on the bottom so it lines up and looks like a, like a really nice bob. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I insert the hair and then I pull it down to the length that I want and the length that I want, I hold that 
part of the hair with my hair and then I wrap the base like four to five times and then I add I insert my thumb and I wrap it over my thumb and then I move my thumb away and I continue wrapping and as I said because the hair is a little bit on the thick side it's not like the other silky textured hairs that hair that I'm using for the butterfly lock it's good to like insert your thumb in between the hair so it'll make like the distressed portions like smaller but it all depends on your desired look I don't feel like there is a wrong or right way to do this so I just kept doing that I for some of the um some of the wrapping I wrapped in front of my thumb for some of it I wrapped behind my thumb and you can create as many bumps as you want in the hair it's totally up to you and your preference I wanted my hair to look really messy like really like boho vibes so it was like a mixture of like small bumps and bigger bumps and then as I said once I get to the end I just twist the hair and turn it upwards and then I just start wrapping upwards and then I just palm roll the lock and that just sets everything in place you can always like tie like a knot to keep it in place but the palm roll works just as fine and i don't think the hair like loosens out well it hasn't loosened out on me so that's what i did so when i take the hair out it will be easier so we're gonna go in and repeat the same step i insert the crochet um needle and then i add the hair from the end and then I measure the length that I want and then I go in with my shining gem and I wrap four to five times to secure the base and then I add my thumb and I wrap the hair over my thumb as well as in front of my thumb and move it away you can alternate if you want to you can just do every single like wrap in front of your thumb it gives it a like a neater look but I feel like when you wrap it over your thumb, it gives it adds like some kind of like extra like definition to the hair. It gives it a more like messy look. Remember guys that this is not a bow lock where you want it to be like tight as how you see the root there all the way down. It's not supposed to look neat and uniform. I don't think you can mess this style up. It's supposed to look distressed. So butterfly lock and the distress distress lock to me are like the same thing. I feel like what I did with this hair was like a mixture of, of both. I really liked how it turned out. You can let me know like down in the just in like the comments what you guys thought of this and what I like most about like the expression like twisted up springy afro twist hair is that it mimics the textures of or natural hair like type 4 hair textures like it really mimics that especially like a 4C texture. So I feel like it made the style look even more realistic this hair though is really lightweight when i tell you it's lightweight it's so lightweight i didn't have any headaches i slept well usually you do styles like this you can't sleep but i slept well because i made sure that my roots were not too tight i made sure that i didn't do the braid so that my hair would like fall out with it if i did it too tight and i would have like breakage and stuff i ensured that it was you know nice and not too snug and guys this hair didn't give me any problems like it was really good to work with it's a very lightweight i feel like i have nothing on my head and each packet comes with like a lot and for each lock i used one strand from that from the hair for the 12 inch i used one pack in the back part of my head and then for the other other um 16 inch pack i used one and a half i used one full pack and then i used a half pack so in total i used two and a half packs of hair and i think that's amazing and my hair is super light and it looks super cute and it looks super natural and guys in total i have 55 locks i yes i did count because i know i'm gonna get asked like in the comments or you ask how many locks do you have so it was 55 locks and in total it was two and a half packs of hair which is totally amazing i definitely would recommend this hair in doing this style because it's super lightweight no headaches none of that like i slept pretty well and then to top it off guys it already has a distressed look so that makes it even better even if you can't like do like you don't have like the whole like technique down pat the fact that it 
already like distressed and the texture is already there it makes it so like easy it makes it way easier than using like a silky textured hair so i'm all here for the springy afro twist i really enjoyed uh, doing my hair with this um hair and i enjoyed the style so much i got so many compliments on this hair but yeah guys i really hope that my explanation made sense i hope that you understood i really hope and we're finally at the last lock the hardest part of this hairstyle was honestly braiding my own hair down and doing the parting the locking part was the easiest part so once you get your your base down then you're good to go it'll be super easy and super quick so last time I'm um, pulling the hair through with the crochet needle and I'm just pulling it down to the length that I want and for th and then the longer piece I'll use that to wrap the hair. So we're going to start off and we're going to do four to five like tight wraps at the root to hold the hair and then we're going to move on and start placing like a thumb or maybe use your index finger, whatever works for you. I don't think there's any set way to do here. And especially if you're doing it on yourself, do whatever feels the most comfortable. So yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wrap around my thumb as I go along and keep moving my thumb to give me the distressed look. And as I said, I noticed when I wrapped in front of my thumb, it gave it like a better look. But because I was doing both ways, I just did, did it throughout the entire head so for some parts the distressed parts I did it in front of my thumb I wrapped in front of my thumb and for other parts I wrapped over my thumb so you're gonna wrap over your thumb as well as in front of it whichever one you think looks better in your opinion I just liked out how, how it looked like combined and as I said the hair is a bit thick so it's best to put your thumb like in between so the distressed parts are like not as like the bumps are not as like thick you get what I mean you want the bumps to be like tinier it all it all like comes down to your preference better yet and once you get to the bottom you're gonna wrap all the way back up and then you're gonna finger um you're gonna palm roll oh my god I can't talk you're gonna you're gonna palm roll the lock and then that's it and guys that's basically it the hard part is done and I'm just going to go in and add some wrapping lotion to my hair this like sets everything in place it provides some kind of soothing comfort to my scalp every time i do it i don't know but this is just a part of my process so i'm gonna add the wrapping lotion to my scalp as well as to the locks and then i added some oil to my scalp and you know do my edges and stuff like that so guys um i really hope you kind of got the grasp of what i did I think this hairstyle turned out to be super cute. I had to like go get my my dress on, my little like beach dress on because I felt like it gave me a vacation vibe. I felt like I should be on an island somewhere like sipping like a pina colada, a strawberry dark tree or something. I just felt like very, I don't know, very like a vacation babe. But let me know guys what you guys thought down below. I really enjoyed this hair and I really enjoyed making this video for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. I hope you learned something. Be sure to like, share, and comment. And most importantly, like subscribe to OJ's YouTube channel as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and that's Crown K. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.